many of us many of us are here because we heard about this stuff from a young woman named Rachel Parrott who started the Kids Right to Know movement. Put your hands together please and invite up our friend Rachel. All right, we're going to see if this mic works. If not, I will try my best to project. Um, hi everyone, my name is Rachel Parent and I'm the founder of an organization called Kids Right to Know. We are all here because of the common purpose of the fact that corporations, chemical companies, are controlling our food supply. Why is that? Why are the same corporations that created DDT, PCBs, and Agent Orange in control of the food that we are putting in our bodies? That's the question I have for our government. Monsanto has been around for the past 20 years, creating products that are toxic and unhealthy for ourselves and the environment. And this is not something that I can stand by. I refuse to stand here and wait for corporations to ruin our future to ruin our health, and to ruin our environment. This is more than just about us. We are here today marching in solidarity with hundreds of countries and cities around the world. We are here for the common purpose that we believe we should have the right to choose what we put in our bodies. We believe that we have the right to choose that we do not want to eat these foods that these chemical corporations are forcing us to eat. Yeah. Not only are these chemical corporations infringing on our rights, our MPs are not supporting our rights. We just heard a bill in Parliament called Bill C-291. And this bill, I'm sure most of us have not heard of, because it was not by our media sources. This bill was to label GMOs. We were all extremely excited about it. Only 67 MPs in Parliament stood up for your right to know what's in your food. I met with MPs such as Robert Sopuck, who told me that even, 90, even if 99% of his constituents wanted GMO labeling, that he would not give it to them because it goes against his moral standard. We have faced many battles, many failures, of which it seems that we are not coming out successful, but we are. We are coming out successful because every single year we are gaining more support for our movement. Go through the grocery stores and you'll see more non-GMO products and organic products than ever before. have been infiltrating our governments. They've been infiltrating the public, our PR companies. They've been infiltrating media systems. But you know, the one thing that they cannot buy is our souls and our freedom to choose healthy food. person's support. So if you have a phone on you, uh, I really encourage everyone to take out your phone. My Twitter account is at Rachel's News. Um, please tweet about this march. Use hashtag M-A-M-T-O. March Against Monsanto Toronto. And tweet about it as much as possible. This march transcends just here today. It is through social media, as Jody said. It is in the grocery stores, and it is in every single one of our lives by the choices that we make. Please Help us make that difference. Um, tweet about it as much as possible. When we get to the festival, stick around. Come to our booth. We would really appreciate a small donation. 